Welcome to FM and News. Yes, welcome. Tonight we will be covering the Dr. Phil interview of Tot Mom's parents, George and Cindy Anthony. You called her Tot Mom. Nancy Grace has that word trademarked. Oh yeah. My bad. I mean Casey Anthony. Because of time constraints we will just discuss the terms of the interview. Ooh, big bucks, right? Enough that. Well maybe you want your daughter to do something really bad. Focus woman. So at the beginning Dr. Phil asked them why they had chosen to be on his show. Now, it's been over a year since you've spoken publicly. Yes. Why did the two of you agree to sit down with me and have this conversation? Well, we knew at some point we needed to tell our side of the story. Your venue, I think, what better place? We can trust you're going to do the right thing with us and by us, and you're going to get what you feel we need to talk about and, and open our hearts up about. You know that... That is so sweet to open up their hearts to Dr. Phil. Do you know that I love him? I would open up more than just my heart for him. Arg, The man is a media whoring swine. But let's move on. Right so then Dr. Phil asks them whether they are being paid for this interview. And, I mean this is so amazing. They are doing it for free. Well, let's just show the clip. That you have some critics out there. Mm -hmm. Uh, some say that you have tried to capitalize on, profit from, or exploit the death of your granddaughter. Mm -hmm. So I want to be very clear, neither of you have asked to be paid one penny for this interview, correct? That's correct, That's we have correct. not. And we have not paid you for this That's interview. Correct. See, they did not ask for a single penny. Oh my. You know that Dr. Phil? I would not charge him a penny, either. Jesus. Cindy and George are the two sleaziest charity fund spending freaks in a long time. Maybe forever. Reports indicate that spent more than 80% of the other two funds donations on their personal expenses. This next part will make you understand. That's now what you have asked us to do you're very passionate about something that you call the Cayley Fund. Yes. Yes. You have asked us to make a donation to that when it gets properly licensed, and I said we would do that. Yes. To make this further clear, neither of you derive any income from that charitable organization whatsoever, correct? That's, That's correct. correct. And right. They say they do not derive any income from the Cayley Fund. Well, of course they say that, you bimbo. The fund has not even been set up. That is like as king, if you are deriving income from your mother's death. Before she is even dead. What, my mom? She died? When? Oh, boo-hoo. No. Hold it together. You see, since she is not dead, you have not derived any income from her death unless you sold tickets in advance. But not even you would do that. Right? I mean seriously, right? Oh yeah. I do get it. And because the foundation has not even been set up, and like I believe that, then the paperwork could just name George as executive director and Cindy as assistant director and say that each gets a salary of half the funds payable on the first day. No. I don't think that would work. Cindy would be the executive director. She clearly runs things at the Anthony household. Yes. I will give you that. But if they did that, spent on the Cayley Fund donations on themselves, then no one would like them. You know, one of these days I am going to get out of this chair and smack you. Nobody likes them right now and nothing in this interview will change that. Okay, nothing will change how people will feel about the Anthonys. But also nothing will change the way I feel about Dr. Phil. Do you think if I texted him a photo he might call me? No. I don't. I really, really don't.